okay, let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a home, this ain't a phone. Grind never stopping, I'm keeping it cold. Unlocking the door with the What's up, y'all? It's Elena, and I'm going to be reacting to From Season 1, Episode 6. Last episode, it got real crazy. The psychotic girl. I don't even know if I should call her psychotic because I really feel like the creatures are doing something to her. They're forcing her to do this stuff. But at the same time, I don't want to feel bad for her because she could have told people what was going on. She could have really told people that she was going through these things. But she really tried to kill the little boy. She pushed his mom in a wall, closed the door, locked the door, and tried to kill him. Ended up killing her brother. So, that's one body down. And don't forget, Victor, he digged six graves. So, we got five more bodies, okay? We need five more bodies in the ground. Um, Boyd seems to have a plan, but I don't really know what the plan could be. But he needed to sign to see if his plan would work. And he got his sign at the end of last episode. So hopefully his plan will work. But I doubt it. I really doubt it. We on episode 6. I know there's more crazy stuff that needs to happen. Like, y'all. And I'm low-key scared. But yeah, if y'all want to see my full reaction to this episode, check out my Patreon. The link is in the description below. Let's get into it. Rest in peace, my boy, Nathan. And faith. I wish you would have told people a long time that ago what happened, but... That's what happens when, when you don't tell people stuff. Arrive. What is the very first sound we make? We cry out. You trying to make a we radio? For answers. Before we even have words to give voice to the questions. That's how we begin I our mean, journey. I mean, fix a radio, maybe? There's a meaning, a purpose to it all. And then one day, we find our faith. Our faith that we are each here in this world, in this place, as part of God's mysterious plan. It sounds crazy, but are we dead? Are we alive? I... Would it matter? I mean, for argument's sake, let's say we're dead. And we're all stuck here together in some strange, tormented purgatory. What would be different? We'd still be stuck. We'd still be searching for a way to go home. All that would change is the home we're searching for. But if it's any consolation to you, you were already here when your vehicle crashed. You're alive, Tabitha. Your family's alive. That is true. They was already in town. And then they crashed, so... And like I said in my, in my last reaction, I don't think they're dead because Victor was a kid and now he's a grown man. So, I don't think you can age in purgatory. I might be wrong though. Mm hmm. Something's up with him. He knows more than what he's telling. Where are we, preach? You got her? We need to talk. Mm. Talk about what, Reverend? About what? You all right? Yeah, it's... I'm having a hard time wrapping my brain around it, I guess. I mean, it's Sarah. Yeah, because now you know yeah, she, so she murdered your father. Nice. How's your mom? Them be the ones to be psychos. It's hard. You know, Sarah's kind of like the daughter she never had. I've been thinking that the only reason we haven't pushed further into the forest is we didn't know whether the talisman would protect us out there the same way it does in the town. Mm. So, I'm putting together some supplies. I'm going to take the talisman and out in the forest, and I'm gonna see. Hey, 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 Kenny, what? 
Hey, you don't walk away when I'm talking to you. Are you going alone? Yeah. And how far are you going? As far as it'll take me. I'm doing this to find a way out. Find a way home, isn't that the point? I'm not sure there is a point anymore. But if you're in that much of a hurry to fucking die, you should just go and do it. Okay? I can't even be mad at him. But I'm with Boyd. I'm gonna try to get the hell up out of here. What are you up to? There's no wire in here. What? In the cord. When you want to splice a wire, you got to strip away the coating to get at the wire inside, oh. but there's no wire. This is, you know, it's not actually a wire. And the plug? Look. Oh. Hmm. The outlets? None of it makes any sense. I mean, these lamps, they shouldn't work. Do you notice the wire thing too, huh? Fucking weird, right? You're that asshole that always That's feels. very weird. First of all, I wasn't driving. Second, my best friend, who I've known since fourth grade, is dead. All right, he's not walking around with a little boo boo on his legs. So how about we just call that one even? Okay. Now, you guys want to play Why house? Why would they have fake wires and fake outlets? I have an idea. <sighs> These people are ding dongs. They strip the car. They leave behind the only parts that actually matter. For They're not all ding dongs. Battery's gone. Huh? I said the battery is gone. See. Why? Back to town. It just as soon as I get this cable here. God damn it. Come on. We're all the way out here. We li literally could have gotten wiring from any car in town. My friend, this is a top of the line Audi Q5. Part source from. You really want to pin our hopes to some peasant model jalopy? Good morning. Uh, I'm dropping this off for storage. It's like the Cavern of the Lonely Dragon. Yeah? When the Kramanaka was lost in the rainbow sky, she found a cavern where the Lonely Dragon lived. And it was full of stuff that nobody wanted. But for the Lonely Dragon, all the stuff is treasure. What? What is it? Mom? Yeah. What's wrong? Nothing. What? Oh, this will never work. Of course it's gonna work. No, it's not nearly tall enough. We won't have the signal strength. Yeah, listen, we can deal with that, okay? This is just a test run. Look, you're you're an engineer, right? Amusement parks? Yeah. Okay. So I guess that means one of us built a multi-million dollar software company and the other does, what, safety tests on the teacup, right? You know what? Do it yourself. Yeah, because huh? something wrong what? with you. Hey, what? You can talking to people okay? like you crazy. I'm sorry. Uh, people tell me no, you can go to hell. Talking to people, you have no idea what it's like being smarter than everyone you know. Listen, okay. Look, the truth is, I could really use your help. Can I be honest with you? Please. I get that you want to prepare him for the worst. Get him ready to take your place in case something ever. But right now, he's really hurting. And I don't think he needs a sheriff. I think he needs a dad. God damn it. I'm sorry, I... No, 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 it's, it's not you, it's me. It's... If you don't learn from your mistakes, you're doomed to repeat them, right? I really didn't mean to. You didn't. No, no apology. That's horrible. Yeah, we call it the good book, but... Did you know it's actually comprised of 73 books? Did you know that? Matthew. Mark. Romans. Corinthians. 73 books. 73 books. What if we, people of this town, 
are living the book that has yet to be written. What if this is book 74? And Sarah, what if we were chosen? I need you to tell me about these voices. The voices that tell her to murder people? I don't think that's from God. And what is up with this bracelet? So young, I don't think it would be much longer. Yeah. And how is there light if there Why are no wires? Not. Is this on some Stranger Things type stuff? I thought you Someone trying to communicate. What kind of adventure? Mm, the game is going to be called Where Does the Light Come From? Sounds good? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's go. Don't kill yourselves. Kill me. Hey, you're doing great. You need to work on your attitude. Okay. How you doing up there? Doing good. Fuck. What is go- What is this? What's going on? Their uniforms, their outfits. No, 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 no. Wait. Okay, I don't think. No, no, no. no. Wait, what? Hey. Hey. Jade, what? Jade, Jade, right here, right here. So whatever it is, it's not real. So Sarah hears voices. They said they wanted to help. And it's like he can see what happened in the past. Or what's going to happen in the future, maybe? I'm pretty sure it's the past, though. Look, hear them. Someone who could help them. Help them do what? Help them escape. Help them go home. If I did what they said, then we'd be safe. We'd get to go home. I am so confused. How, How would we get to go home? I'm so confused. They promised that Nathan would be okay. They, they promised and now, now he's Sarah, listen to me. Come here, listen to me. Listen to me, Sarah. If these voices are real, if something here is communicating with you, then that means you're connected to this place in a way that no one else here is. And that makes you incredibly valuable. Do you understand? Sarah, I need... Sarah, what? No. Her arm again? Oh, yeah. Sarah. No, no. What? No, no, no. What's wrong? Oh, no, no! What? Sarah, what is it? Oh, no. What? They want me to show you something. Y'all, my head and my heart hurts right now. Oh my gosh, what's going on? This is like. Oh my goodness. I want to compare it to Lost, but this is. A whole this is on another level. Oh I hear static. That means it's something's working. Is anybody there? It's like a little crackling in between the static too.
You know what that is? I keep seeing it. I keep, I, 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 I keep having these. Uh... Yeah. She know what that is. Hey, where are you going? Yeah, follow her. She know what that is. Whoa. We gonna figure this out. Holy shit. This is all the, uh, wow. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, 1972. How many people? Oh my God, go Okay. Well, I mean, could you tell me what you're looking for? Shh. Yeah. What is this? They said they watched you on the day you got here. They said they watched you bury the bag and that this is proof that they're real. What bag? Do you know what that means? And what is in it? I'm sick, Kenny. Have you talked to Christy about it? Not that kind of sick. My father was diagnosed with Parkinson's when he was around my age. Oh, and that's why his ready. hand was shaking. Doctors all swore up and down how extremely rare that would be. Long time to win the lottery, I guess. But how do you know? This thing is already chipping away at me. And eventually I'm going to get to the point where I can't. I'm not going to be able to protect these people anymore. So I got to find us a way out while I still can. There's a lot of folks in this town who are alive today because of you. And I know your dad isn't around to say it, but I promise you, he's so goddamn proud of you. I'm proud of you. If you tell me right now, that you are not ready for me to go. That you need more time. <laughs> then I ain't going nowhere. Okay? You a real one, boy. Are we doing this or what? Hell yeah, we are. Let's go. We gotta what? get up out of here. Oh, you're talking about the baseball. Yeah, we do a little of that, but we got to go here to the forest next. We might be on to something with this radio. I'm going to have to get Oh, she done tore up your house. The entire wall is probably gone. What the fuck? Hi, Dad. Hey, kiddo. What you up to? We're on an adventure. There's a lot of dirt, so Mom said I should bring some outside. What you doing? It's like you said this morning. It has to come from somewhere, right? The electricity. There's no power lines. And all the wires, all the cords, they just, they just go down, straight down. It's so weird. And no one's paying the electric bill, but somehow the lights okay, is all uh, on. Sir, can you not dig for a moment? Yes. What's going on? Um. Okay. Nothing makes sense. I'm trying to figure out why you that remember is. Remember the bracelet I made you. The what? The bracelet. You're saying you found a bracelet that's similar to the one you no, made? No, 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 no. It's not similar. That is the bracelet. Those are the laces from your father's boots. No, those were generic rawhide laces, the same you'd find on any boot. No, 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 no. Look, look at this. Look at this. What? This was an accident. I made this. 
I was so afraid I ruined it, but then when I gave it to you, you said the accidents, accidents are the best part. Yes. Why? Uh, because it makes it one of a kind. Exactly. Is it possible? Maybe someone took it from the hospital and they ended up there and died. Well, maybe we in a whole nother dimension. Now let me see what this man done buried. And why he decided to bury it his first day here. He probably killed somebody and tried to run away. Oh, you're an alcoholic? Mm-hmm. You killed somebody, didn't you? Hit and run, huh? It would have been fire if it was an Apollo bar. Are you sure? Because I got some heat. You just throw the damn ball. <laughs> You're gonna regret this. I hear a lot of talking, but I'm not. Here comes the heat. I think, uh, I think maybe I'll carve us a bat. That way, when you get back, we could do this right. I would never want to be in this house. Now, who is this? <gasps> You're so beautiful. I'm so glad you like when can I come inside? Y'all. Don't tell me that she's gonna kill everybody and call me house. Yo, I can't. I can't. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I don't, I can't even think of a theory. Like, my brain is the way my brain feels y'all i feel like my brain exploded i'm so confused it seems like sarah can talk to them she or so sarah can speak and listen to these things right now i'm not even sure if it's really the the skinwalkers i'm gonna call them skinwalkers until further notice those skinwalkers slash windigos out there, whatever they're called. I'm not even sure if that's who Sarah's been talking to. Because if it is, like, I don't know. Maybe that is what she's talking to or who she's been talking to. But why did they want the boy killed? I don't know. I'm pretty sure, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure the um the reverend or the pastor whatever you want to call him he was drunk driving he hit somebody it was a hit and run and that's why his shirt was all bloody like that that's why he has the the um the alcohol on his back and that's why he buried it because he probably thought you know they're gonna figure this out whole time these people probably don't even care like maybe this town is for punishment it's like a pun but that wouldn't i was i was thinking maybe this town is for it's like some type of punishment, but at the same time, I don't even think that's what it is either because there's kids here. Like, mm, I don't know. And my boy, boy got Parkinson's and that's why he's been shaking. Ugh. It's just, it's sad. And then the dude, the asshole, he's drawing these symbols. He could see visions of stuff. He's drawing symbols and there's a whole book in storage with them same symbols. Like how? What is going on? Who who was drawing them symbols in the past? Who brought that bracelet here? How did it get here? Now my theory 
that not a theory that I have now is that they're in a whole nother dimension. That log in the road with all them crows, that was a portal to a whole nother dimension. And now they got to find out or find another portal out of here because there are portals around the forest, like the trees. Because I remember Victor, he put stuff in the trees and then the object appeared somewhere else or fell through the sky, something like that, or end up in another tree. I think it's like that. I think we are in a whole nother place. And that's why we can't leave through the road or no one knows where we are because, or no one can find us because I'm saying us like I'm there. No one could find them because they're not even in our dimension anymore. Maybe they're like in a whole nother timeline. Like maybe they time traveled. Cause it looked like um the people who were that the man saw hanging from the tree, it looked like they were like um soldiers from back in the day. The person who was attacking him looked like a, a union soldier. But I'm not sure because the outfits look kind of different than what I remember. Um, but yeah, they were wearing like a dark blue, a navy blue look like. They looked like soldiers. Like that looks exactly, not exactly, but that kind of looks like their uniform from back in the day. But yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. And oh, by the way, I could not live in Colony House. That is disgusting. I'm not going to sleep on the floor with a bunch of strangers. And they're out here having sex and shit all over the house. And nah. And then the people in town, they seem okay. You know, they don't really seem bad to me. But the people in Connie House, none of them seem okay to me. I got my eye on all of them. All of them. Okay. And um, apparently this guy fell in love with a Wendigo. And he's about to kill everybody in Colony House. Why are you giving them flowers? You know what they do. You know what they do. You've seen what they did to these people. They tore them to pieces. And you out here giving them flowers? Boy, this is the shit I be talking about. He probably high as hell if they found a way to like grow drugs or like weed over there. He's probably high as fuck thinking this girl really loved him. That's not even a girl for real. That's a damn demon. But y'all, I don't know. Like I said, I don't really have a theory. I, I can't even imagine what this, I can't even imagine what's really going on right now. The only thought that I have is that they're not even in our dimension no more. They're in a whole nother dimension or a whole nother timeline. They're in an alternate reality or something. But we're going to find out. Hopefully boy can get through the forest and get up out of here and help everybody else. But I doubt it. I really doubt it. But yeah, y'all, if y'all want to see my full reaction to this episode, check out my Patreon. The link is in the description below. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye. Hey, hey, okay, let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hunt, this ain't a phone. Grind never stopping, I'm keeping it cold. Unlocking the door with the